Biodiversity, uh, we introduced the word in 1988, means uh, the totality of variation that you find, you know, genetic variation in organisms, whether it's just right around where we're seated here, you know, there's a biodiversity here, whether it's of Yosemite to Park, California or the world. Many people are surprised to learn how much biodiversity there is on Earth. There's a huge amount. They then are somewhat more surprised to learn how fast it's disappearing. So fast, being wiped out by human action, that as little as one half of the species may be alive and in healthy condition by the end of this century. And then they become even more surprised uh, to learn some of the things that it matters, why it matters for them. If we start cutting down, even in just the most selfish human terms, we will suffer because we're stripping away that part of the environment, the living environment that gives us stability. These are the creatures that turn the soil for us, that fertilize it. These are the creatures that clean our water. They're the creatures that pollinate the flowers of many of our crop species. Uh, these are the creatures in totality that give us the very air we breathe. Just from that alone, we need to save all the biodiversity that we possibly can. Uh, Rachel Carson came along at a, um, a moment of crisis. The crisis that uh, existed in the United States at, at that time that most people were talking about was there were two. One was the Cold War, and you know it was how how to continue the balance of nuclear power to keep war breaking out with the Soviet Union, but it was also uh, and uh, it was also racial in that we were just on the cusp of the, of the civil rights movement, a great movement, and that's what was on people's minds. I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. But there was another crisis that people didn't know about, and that was that we were poisoning the environment with chemicals. Her uh, purpose was to say, hold up. Uh, we've gone so far that we're beginning to destroy nature. And of course she focused on birds because people will pay attention to birds. But the problem extended virtually to all the rest of life, including human beings, because it was about then we began to understand that some of these things that we, we were taking into our food and our water could cause uh, disease for us, could kill us. The legacy is that she shook America awake about uh, an environmental crisis at a time when Americans didn't even know what an environmental crisis would consist of. It uh, was the beginning of uh, really the modern environmental movement because it was science-based. She was a trained scientist. When that was put across, then people were more open to um, learning about uh, environmental crises. Americans never loved to think and worry about an environmental problem, but at least they were more open to it. Now I think we do have a growing environmental ethic in the United States. It has a long way to go, especially with respect to the living environment, to biodiversity, and the killing off of species and ecosystem. Americans don't seem much aware of that yet, but they're getting there. Uh, the world is beginning to wake up so as a whole. I'm uh, pleased that I had some association with her and uh, I became more of a conservationist myself within a few years. <laughs>